What's going on guys, I'm Known Player here and today we've got for you guys is gameplay of the Blunderbuss. This is a brand new shotgun added to Advanced Warfare today and among this there were also two other weapons added, the STG which is an assault rifle and the SVO which is a sniper rifle. I've got gameplay of both of those weapons also on my channel, you can click the links on screen right now or also in the description to be taken to those videos in a separate tab and you can watch those gameplays. I managed to get legendary variants of both of those weapons, I got a legendary STG and a legendary SVO and that's what the gameplay is so definitely make sure you check that out i didn't manage to get a blunderbuss which is a legendary but i did get elite version and some pretty cool variants and that's the gameplay you're gonna be watching in this video so make sure you check those videos out and i also have some supply drop openings getting this legendary stuff so look out for those in the next coming days but today we're focusing on the blunderbuss in this video it's a new shotgun which is a very very strange one like that and i'm just going to lay it out there it is awful it's an awful weapon do not expect to do well with this weapon although it is very very fun it's not like a try hard weapon which you expect to do well if you use this weapon you're going to get pretty quite frustrated you're probably gonna get destroyed a lot but it is very very fun and very satisfying to get kills with the gameplay you're gonna be seeing is me using this weapon and I actually managed to do a lot better than I expected with this weapon to be honest it hasn't got much range but it does absolutely do a ton of damage this thing just completely obliterates anything that is in front of it now the thing is you have to get in a certain range for it to be able to kill someone but when it is in that range it's just no question it is absolutely going to destroy that person it does so much damage it's ridiculous and it just shoots a ton of pellets but if you just shoot it against the wall you'll see the actual spread of pellets and pretty much anyone in there is just going to die completely so it's a question of getting within a certain range and then after that range they're completely dead so you'll see in this gameplay they just get completely destroyed and it's a really fun weapon to get kills with you basically have to get right up into people's faces and once you do you can be guaranteed they are going to die because it deals a lot of damage the downside is the reload time it's like five seconds i think you literally have to get this little horn thing out and pour in some gunpowder and pour in some like pellets on top of that and then you have to like stuff them down the barrel just like a really old musket weapon the reload is absolutely painful and that is the downside of this weapon it makes some really just awkward and hilarious moments when you've killed someone and there's someone nearby but you need to do this five second reload there's no way to cancel or why why if you try to do that you'll just have to do the reload again like you'll see me doing a couple times where i thought the reload was done i was mainly just watching the uh, little counter in the bottom to see when that went back up to one and then i kind of did a little reload cancel to make it a tiny bit faster but there's really not much reload canceling you can do to speed up the reload speed but uh, the reload is definitely what makes this interesting i really like the animation like definitely have to give props to sledgehammer for a really cool custom animation for reloading the thing like it just looks really really cool having to pour the stuff into the weapon and stuff it down the barrel and then actually shoot the thing again it's really unique another thing that's unique is the actual sound like when you shoot this weapon you'll hear it in game but it's literally like just a thunderous sound that echoes around the entire map it's really really loud and once you shoot it it literally echoes around the entire map and everyone can hear this like echoing boom sound it's really really weird but uh, everyone will know that you're using a blunderbuss and it's got a really incredibly loud sound but uh, yeah it's a really unique weapon like i said it's absolutely awful it's not going to get you any high scores but it's really really fun to use definitely would recommend if you get this weapon to try it out now i'm going to talk about some of the variants that i actually managed to get so this is the base blunderbuss this is the base normal one and how to actually get the blunderbuss weapon or the base variant or any variants unfortunately the only way to get them is from supply drops so you can either buy advanced supply drops you can either wait every like 10 or so levels or prestige and earn an advanced supply drop or you can just naturally earn a supply drop and those will have a chance to drop you a variant once you get one variant any variant just like an enlisted or elite professional whatever any variant at all that will get you that variant of course and also it will unlock the base one for you as well so unfortunately it's not just like free like the m19s where you just get the base variant and you can also do variants you have to get a variant in order to get the base variant so this is what the base weapon looks like we've also got the black beard which is a like blacked out version this has got a uh, plus in reserve ammo and minus one in handling we've got the death trumpet another enlisted one this has got minus one in accuracy and plus one for handling so a pretty bad one to be honest and then we've also got the flint lock this one is a very cool one it's got plus one in damage to max out to 20 a minus one in accuracy which i think is a pretty good variant and then we've got the scallywag this one has a minus one in range and um, plus one in mobility i think that's a pretty bad variant to be honest and then into the professional ones we've got the dog lock this one's pretty cool it's got minus one in accuracy and plus one in range i think that's probably one of the better variants to be honest we've also got the musketeer which i use for a lot of in this gameplay and this is a cool kind of red and gold themed one this has plus one range and minus one mobility i think that's a really good trade-off this weapon definitely definitely needs range and it really doesn't need aimed out sight time it's really not too important with the shotgun and it's really minuscule how much it affects the time but i think that's a really good trade off the musketeer is definitely a good variant and that's one that i was using in this gameplay and the other weapon i was using in this gameplay is the hand cannon this is an elite variant it's got dragon head on the end of it like a chinese dragon head and it's got plus two in accuracy minus one in damage and minus one in ability so not a great variant to be honest but those are the variants that i have as i said i've got legendary 
3D versions of both the STG and the SVO sniper rifle and I've got gameplay of those two weapons on my channel so make sure you click the link on screen right now or also in the description to be taken to those videos and like I said I've also got some supply drop openings of me getting those legendary variants and cool legendary stuff coming up in the next coming days so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on those videos they're really really cool definitely make sure you stay tuned for those videos but make sure you give a like rating on this video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think about the blunderbuss or if you've got it yourself let me know your thoughts of the blunderbuss but hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one